Right, where are we going next? Hi guys, how you doing? I'm on a lovely walk this morning. I'm in Farnham and once again I'm seeking out some of the oddities, some of the history, some of the heritage, some of the unusual stops in the fine county of Surrey. As I said before to our foreign viewers, Surrey is a county below London, one of what we call our home counties. And today I'm doing something a little bit different I'm exploring a local legend of a white witch. Do I am on the right path? I think I am. Because I'm here to have a look at Mother Ludlam's cave. Now legend has it that a white witch called Mother Ludlam lived here. And local folk, if they wanted to borrow something, would come up at midnight. So it's midnight, isn't it? It's going to be like a reasonable time, like 5.30 in the afternoon, but midnight. Leave the request and it'll be there the next morning. There's variations on this legend. But Ludlam is sort of a Celtic word, so it's probably going back further than we think. You know, you think Mother Ludlam, you think White Witch, you're probably thinking the medieval period, but it could be earlier than that. But really, this is actually a natural spring that comes out of the cave from uh, within the uh, Surrey Downs trickles out and this used to feed water along to the uh, to the abbey at Waverley apparently once upon a time you actually go straight into the cave these iron doors weren't here then health and safety and all that it's been there for like probably thousands of years this cave <laughs> Neolithic man might have sheltered in there Another reason the legend might have stuck because of a natural water source with the spring. Obviously natural springs have a lot to do with uh, spiritualism and mysticism, seen as sacred space for many people, and still do. And just isn't it trickling very gently, it's lovely. It's quite eerie here actually. Even as a hardened paranormal researcher, um, it's, it, that's just your psychology, psycho your psychology kicking in, but it's, uh, it is an amazing place. Been wanting to come here for years. I didn't realise how close it was to Waverley Abbey. The diarist uh, William Cobbett of Rural Rides visited here in 1825 on some of his spots along Surrey. Another part of the legend says that Mother Ludlam had a cauldron which was never returned. And that's ended up uh, in Frencham Church, not too far off from here, so actually still in the church. And people have associated the cauldron with the legend. The thing is, the cauldron probably come from Waverley Abbey uh, during the uh, disillusion. It's a nice little tale. Apparently, if it's ever returned to here, she'll return. Thank you, Mother Ludlam, whoever you are. Just going to follow the stream down here a little bit. It's an ancient spring, and I'm really into ancient springs. They're very powerful energy centres, especially for a dowser. I was just talking to a gentleman who was out walking with his son, and he said he used to play as a kid in the cave before the fence went up because of health and safety. I still don't understand that. It's a cave. It's not going to cave in. Well, it could do. It's pretty structurally sound. You can walk around Waverley Abbey without worrying about falling masonry, so. So there you have it. The legend and the cave of Mother Ludlam. 
hope you've enjoyed the video if you get a chance to come here this is in Moore Park come and check it out it's really really interesting a real hidden gem in the Surrey landscape so uh, if you like the video please like subscribe any more information about here please let me know I'd love to know a little bit more about this place and until next time see you later